What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. Welcome, and by the thumbnail, you know what I'm talking about as far as the Kyosho USA 1, 1 8 scale. This comes in two different power plants. It's got a 4S power system, brushless system, and then also a 0.25 nitro motor. So let's just get down, let's check this thing out. So if you're new, definitely check us out, OMGRC.com, lots of different stuff. Also here, I made an option, so if anybody's looking for more power in their Dodge Challenger, then you got a hell yeah more power option, so you definitely check that one out. Um, so this will be on our main page here, you can go and check it all out. But anyway, let's scroll down here a little bit more. All right, top one, it's gonna be our brushless version, and then we do have the nitro version as well. So let's go ahead, check this thing out. Um, so some of you guys are going to be like, well, when is this thing coming out, Joe? When is it coming out? Kyosho said July, but they're not 100% sure. So I would really kind of push it, you know, another month or two. Just put your expectations to be out another month or two. That would be because of all the issues that's been going on with everything. So everybody's behind. Let's go ahead, get to the good stuff here. Now this thing came out... As far as the body and things like this, it's not going to be exact a re-release or anything like that. So this is using the uh, platform of the Mad Crusher or the Fox. So it's going to be easier to get parts for this thing. So that'll be a good thing. So it's not like a whole new under the chassis, everything's brand new. No. So that's good. I kind of like that idea. Body is sick looking. I don't know if I want to drive it, <laughs> to be honest with you. So, But let's get into this thing. This thing is cool looking. So 4S power. So it will use two 2S LiPos, or you can run it on two nickel metal hydride batteries. Check your manual, make sure you have it set correctly, because by default, I'm sure it's gonna be on LiPo. So if you do wanna run it on nickel metal, you will wanna check that manual and set that electronic speed controller to the right setting. All right, so yeah, that USA one came back, was out like early 90s. So I was looking on even on eBay on that one. So really cool. Um, yeah, let's just scroll. I want to show you something here. This thing's pretty cool. And I saw it before. Now, it can take LED lights, so front and rear, and on top of the roof for those fog lamps. Really nice. This thing has the option of a twin motor setup. That's pretty awesome. Um, if you did it on a brushless one, that's going to be pretty sick. Twin brushless motors, but you're going to need another ESC as well to make that all happen. Plus, you got to check into all that. This thing is cool. Um, the optional four wheel steer. So this could be even more like a, you know, a monster truck. So that's another option as well. Keep that in mind. Um, here's all the technical jargon, you know, as far as its length and wheelbase and all that good stuff. Um, what you're getting in it now, just kind of give you that expectation is like, okay, if maybe you're new to the hobby and whatever, you're going to want to, uh, you're going to need four AA batteries, easy peasy on that one, but you're going to need to pick what batteries you're going to want to run in this thing. For optimal performance, you want to go with lipos. All right, um, but if you're not, you're on the fence on the whole lipo deal. At least you can go with nickel metal and go with that one. You're gonna need a charger for it and a power supply. Or um, I'm looking at here it says power supply, but obviously a charger to charge those up. So with that, this thing's cool. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more. Look at that body on there. That thing's cool. How they did it. It's got the four or sorry the three carburetors on it. Yeah, the only thing is, man, I'm looking at them like, oh, please don't roll over. So if, if I got one of these, I'm taking it slow. I'm probably going to get another body for it. So that way I don't mess this one up. Just uh, get a cheaper one. This thing is cool looking. It's going to be one of those to, uh, could be a shelf queen a little bit, but you got to want to run this thing. But it is cool. All right. All license all it's, in its all its glory. So there we can see it. I think I got another picture that can show it a little bit closer up. Yeah. Boom. You can put another motor right in there ready to go so it does have more of a space for another electronic speed controller obviously to for that brushless setup yeah it's really nice i'm liking it it's chain driven too you can see a little chain here i think i can scroll down a little bit further and you can see that chain in there and you can see how the servo is working there's a servo arm it's got here this over to here but that servo is not on exposed or anything like that so that's kind of a good thing that all this is pretty looking pretty heavy duty so I'd like you guys to leave comments below if you guys had like the Mad Crusher or the Fox. You're like, yeah, man, things tough. You know, let us know. You know, maybe if there's some weak points or something like that to it, you know, let people know. That'd be helpful. 
All right. Uh, you, there's the bumper and everything. That looks good. Pray for our troops. I like that. It's nice. So, protect our freedom. Cool. I like those little things that are on there. So, let's go ahead and check out the Nitro version of it. So, we get into this one here. We'll just kind of skim through it. Like I said, I'm going to put all the links down in the description below so you guys can just check it out at your leisure, your lunch break, whatever. Definitely uh, cool. I don't know the mile per hour as far as how fast it is, but I've seen videos of... Um, the Mad Crusher and the Fox, and it looked like they moved pretty good. I don't need anything that's going to go lightning speed, but let's go ahead and check this thing out. So this thing's got a three-speed transmission in it, five-link suspension, as just as the other one. So really nice. Uh, things you're going to need for it, obviously going to need fuel for this thing. Um, you guys that are more into the Nitro, I'm not so much into the Nitro. I don't want to leave so lead anybody in the wrong direction, but you're going to need four AA batteries for your transmitter and your receiver here. Obviously glow fuel. Usually it's something like 20% nitro, whatever fuel bottle, so you can get that fuel into that fuel tank itself and your glow plug, your heater to light that glow plug and get that thing ripping. Uh, you want to check and make sure when you first get a nitro vehicle, look it all over, make sure that you break the motor in before you go and run this thing straight out of the box. So break in time, check that manual, make sure that you're doing what it, Kyosho is recommending you to do. So pretty nice. I like it. Still this one's chain driven as well. Pretty cool. You guys, let me know what you guys, if you guys have a nitro one, let me know what that thing does. Uh, I've seen videos on it doing wheelies and everything else. So really cool. And the nitro is kind of cool in some ways because it's truck and, you know, get a little bit of sound out of it instead of the electric one. But, you know, teach their own you know electric right out of the box you just put some batteries in there and boom you're on your way and running having fun so let me know what you guys think but for now appreciate you guys watching so definitely uh check us out at uh, our website omgrc.com appreciate you guys watching you guys take care peace thank you